Hi guys, this is Saki from BD Themes. We are happy to announce that we bought another fantastic update for Element Pack that you have been waiting for. Presenting Element Pack 5.6.0 latest. This time around, we have added a stunning number of 21 new widgets, following by recreated data scripts that has made our widget 50% lighter. Now, all 165 widgets will load 50% faster than previous version of Element Pack. Not only that, we received some attention regarding minor bugs on our some widgets. So, we fixed those and added additional functions as per client's requests. Enough chit chat. Now, I'll go in details about what's inside our new Element Pack 5.6.0 update. The new widget Vertical Menu helps you create a flexible menu panel that is arranged vertically. You can create both custom menu or select pre-built menu that you have created from your dashboard, best for WooCommerce stores and shops. Additionally, you can make it into a sticky floating menu panel by clicking on the sticky switcher. Also, show the sub-menu inside or outside the main panel. Lastly, your most favorite style tab covers all the color presets for the whole content. Next item is breadcrumbs. This widget creates an easy to navigate breadcrumbs on your web page. We all know how it works and now you can have it in your new page. Don't forget to mark your home page with a fancy home icon. Use the style tab to change its color, text, size as you want. The Calendly widget is integrated with the famous Calendly app and you can enjoy all of its features inside your web page. As a bonus, you can customize its appearance with ours. Lastly, the newsletter widget is one of the most popular items that effects that collects email from interested visitors. It comes in two types, works with great and any pages. The charitable campaigns widget allows you to display charity campaigns on your web page. You can insert multiple entries with its auto grid system. Also, limit the number of campaigns on display, set item gap. or turn on the switcher to equally adjust the content heights. Next, the charitable donations widget makes a donation history form with certain details covering every running campaigns on your website. This is a by default setup, so you only have the style tab to change how it looks.
Next is the charitable donors widget for displaying donor profiles in the hall of heroes on your page. It's a simplified widget used for seeking attention on shifting crowd emotions into positive outcomes. You can select all campaigns or any certain ones and the corresponding donors will show up on display. Yes, it shows name, avatar, location and donation amount. Next item is the charitable donation form. Here you can select pre-made donation form on display anywhere within your website and make it easy for people to donate. The charitable login widget is for placing an easy to use login interface for accessing donor profile easily. Just go ahead and see for yourself. Putting a link in the redirect field will take the user to the set page within your site. It also has a broad style tab for customization. Next, the charitable profile widget is for creating a form for editing donor profile easily. It is for having your donors gain access to their own profiles. It has a by default layout so you can only play with the style tab. The charitable registration widget has almost identical interface as the charitable login widget. Well, of course, that will be the case. Hence, it's for registering new donors. The style tab is also identical. Next item is the charitable stat widget. To simply put, it displays a specific information over any selected campaign. It displays one item among total, progress, donors and donations. The Give Donation History widget is similar to Charitable Donations widget. It shows donation history of active campaigns running with the Give Amount campaign system. There are several switches on the Content tab, commanding specific info on display. Next is the Give Donor wall for displaying donor profiles in a mini grid formation. This tool is perfect for boosting public moral over your campaigns. The switchers on the left side is for showing or hiding content info of the actual content.
The gift form GID widget lets you display your charity campaigns in a grid formation, of course multiple at the same time. However, you cannot select individual campaigns, rather all will be displayed, but you can limit the numbers per page. Going on the style tab, you can add lots of color on every part of the content. Next is the GIF form widget. By selecting any pre-designed form, you can display campaigns with CTA button on your web page. Though you need to create the form from your dashboard, however, you can display the full form or just the donate button that leads users to the full form. The Give Goal widget will show stats of your running campaigns by amount and progress bar. The Give Login widget is for adding a simplified login form for the users. It's minimalist and effective for faster performance. It does include color customizations. Next, the GIF Profile Editor lets you add a profile editor form that your donors or users may use. It is a by default form, so only the Style tab is active for customization. The Give Receipt widget is for creating a written receipt form for the donors that donated against your campaigns. There are two message fields and a bunch of switchers for showing or hiding specific info. Next, the Give Register widget has identical features as the Give Login widget, just serves different purpose. The Style tab is also similar. The Give Totals widget shows mini stat of your running campaign, including the raise amount, percentage, progress bar, and a message with the goal amount. The CTA here is in text format. That's all. Please like and share this video. Make sure to subscribe for new updates. Thanks for watching.